In tonight's business, Kenya Airways is in talks with the government to become the country's principal cargo carrier. To fill the hole left by reduced passenger numbers, the airline is repurposing two of its Dreamliners to carry cargo at a cost of 60 million shillings. With CEO Alan Kilavuka saying this will increase the airline's cargo capacity by 10%. Kilabuka further said they are capitalizing on the increased e-commerce market in the country. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. Even after the resumption of passenger flights last year, passenger numbers have continued to be low, prompting national carrier Kenya Airways to rethink its strategy. And to get a head start, the airline is in talks with the government to get an exclusive air freight deal. I also see this as uh, supporting the economy. Uh, there are lots of exports which may not happen because either there's no capacity or the capacity is probably not affordable. So we, we can create a market, uh, not just take a market, the existing market, but actually create some. There's also other avenues that are new to us. For example, you have the e-commerce business. How do we uh, play in that field? Uh, that's new for everybody. Yeah. The global aviation industry has been reeling from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, Kenya Airways, like its peers, has been taking a beating and is now repurposing to meet the new demands of the market. So we were trying to de-risk the business by diversification. And one of the avenues we were using was, was cargo uh, to move it from you know 7% or thereabouts to about 20% progressively, no, not all in one go. KQ has so far converted two of its passenger carriers into cargo freighters at a cost of 30 million shillings each, with a view of increasing cargo capacity by 10%. However, according to Kilavuka, the repurposed aircraft will be converted back to passenger planes once the numbers improve. So this would, can only be a temporary move, but the, why it is important is that it is, uh, it is building traffic for cargo for us, so that uh, when we are ready, and can be able to buy the, the freighters, the big freighters that are actually purposed for this kind of work. We can do that when we already built a, a, a sufficient traffic for us. Because the alternative is to really underutilize this aircraft and in the process still pay the fixed costs, and which actually is, is a disservice to the business. KQ is looking to stabilize for the next two years before it starts making any gains, both on the passenger and cargo fronts. The airline also says that it is assessing passenger demand on its routes, servicing the viable ones and suspending the ones that do not have demand temporarily as the pandemic renders air travel uncertain. This saw the airline temporarily suspend flights to France and the Netherlands as well as reduce its flight frequency to New York to once a week. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.